Hi guys, welcome to your favorite aptitude training program. In this capsule, we try to cover a question from time and work. Why we have picked up this question is to explain how using common sense, you can answer most of the time and work questions. Let me read out the question. A can do a work in 10 days and B can do the same work in 20 days. They work together for five days and then A goes away. In how many more days will B finish the work? Let me repeat. A can do a work in 10 days and B can do the same work in 20 days. They work together for 5 days and then A goes away. In how many more days will B finish the work is the question. If you look at the question, A can finish a work in 10 days whereas B can finish it in 20 days. That means A is twice as efficient as B or if you want me to put it the other way, A is equal to 2 Bs because he is able to finish it in just half of the time. So I am just writing A is equal to 2 Bs. Now what happened? They worked together for 5 days. A and B together worked for 5 days. He is asking for how many days B has to work to finish the work because after 5 days A left. This question can be answered just in 5 seconds if you use your common sense. Let's see the total work of B is actually 20 days. B's total work is 20 days. They work together for 5 days. That is A worked for 5 days, B worked for 5 days. I am writing B worked for 5 days. If A can do B's 20 days work in 10 days, B's 10 days work can be done by A in 5 days. So when A worked for 5 days, what is the actual work he did in terms of B? That is B's 10 days work. So when A and B work together for 5 days, total 15 days work of B is finished. Total work is already known as 20 days B's work. So B has to work for another 5 days to finish the work. Let me explain it once again. A can finish a work in 10 days. Same work can be done by B in 20 days. What does it mean? A is twice as efficient as B. Whatever work he does in 20 days, he is doing it in 10 days. Whatever work he does it in 2 days, he will do it in just 1 day. That's how it is. That means A's 10 days work is equal to B's 20 days work. Now, A and B together worked for 5 days. That means B worked for 5 days because already I know A is equal to 2 B's. Okay. So, B's 10 days work is finished by A in those 5 days. You already know that. A's 5 days work will be equal to B's 10 days work. So B10 I am keeping. So what is the total work actually? 20 days B's work. So he already worked for 15 days. How much work is left out? 5 days work. So answer is 5 days. This is how using common sense sometimes we can answer the questions faster. Many of us the moment we see any time and work question we have the habit of writing A's 1 day work is 1 day work is 1 by 10 B's 1 day work is 1 by 20. A and B work together for 5 days. So 5 into 1 by 10 plus 1 by 20. We don't know for how many days B will work. So we'll write X into 1 by 20 is equal to 1. After solving this, you get the answer. But this is not the way you are supposed to solve the aptitude questions. Aptitude questions try to check how fast you solve the questions using variety of approaches. I trust you understood why I explained this question. So whenever you look at a question, don't just jump into any kind of traditional approaches or conceptual approaches. See if you can answer the question much faster either by substitution method or even common sense. I trust all of you enjoyed this particular session. We'll be coming up with more such interesting questions and smart ways of solving them. Stay tuned.